Today I'm diving into the challenge of finding the best way to secure my Pico W's Wi-Fi credentials. Let's see if I can lock it down. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and other fun slices of tech. If that sounds like your kind of adventure, then please hit subscribe and join the community. This is my three minute summary video. If you have time, why not check out the full video? A Pico W and its RP2040 are quite limited in terms of security tools. I've shown previously how credential data, like a PIN number, can be read in a few seconds from flash. Storing Wi-Fi credentials is even harder, as hashing approach is not a good idea. We have to be able to get access to the credentials in plain text to be able to use them. So I started by building a simple example project with a class to hold those credentials. I encrypted the credential data then using WolfSSL's crypt library and the AES functions before storing them in the non-volatile storage area of my flash. This leaves me with a new problem though. Where do I store the key? Now it occurred to me that only the Pico W needs that key. So we can invent the key from multiple sources to make it very hard to reproduce. Well, a little hard anyway. So I'm going to build them from text string generated as part of my compilation process in CMake, plus the Pico's unique ID. Okay, technically you're gonna need four pieces of information to be able to hack this. Now they are all in Flash, but they are all in different places in Flash which I think makes this uh, quite a bit of work to hack. It also makes it unviable to upload a replacement piece of firmware to download the MVS data, because that won't work. Is this enough to make it secure? Well, I think that depends on your use case. What else could we do? I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, please. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss what comes next. And make sure that you watch the full video too.